Hi, Stefan Svartling here from Svartling Network. Once again, I have found an app for iOS that changed how I work on iOS and how I create content on my iOS devices. The app is called Clips and it's a very nifty app and it has a third party keyboard and an iOS widget. Clips is a clipboard manager that you can store your copied clips, for example, links, text, images, and so on. And you use the iOS widget to save your clips. It's a pretty smart way doing it. So for example, if I want to copy this uh, URL, I click on it and choose copy as usual. Now I have that in the clipboard, but the app clips doesn't have this URL still, so you have to go down in your notification menu and in this widget you can see here are all the clips that is stored in clips but uh, that on top there you have a plus sign to the left of the URL. So if I click on the plus, the URL, the link gets stored into clips. And now I can use it in any app forever, really. So now we have the link to this video in uh, clips. So let's say that we want the uh, title to. So we go up here and select the title and after you have select the title, you choose copy again, like that. Now we have the title in the clipboard, but still not in the app clips. So we go down in the notification menu again. And as you can see, you have the title and also the link to the web page there. But we only want the title, so we go here and choose to only store the, the text and not the URL. So we click on text like that and then the plus sign as you can see now we have the title for the video stored in clips at the top and the link to the video below it so now we have the link and the title let's say that we also want some text to the link and the title so we choose some text like that and then choose copy now we have the text in the clipboard but still not in clips we go up and scroll down the notification menu and as you can see we have the text with the link here but again we don't want the link so we click on that arrow and choose only text and then the plus sign so as you can see, now we have the URL to the video, we have the title and we have the text for the video. Now we are ready to blog this or post it on a social network or something. So now we can start using the Clips keyboard. As you can see, I have Swift key here, but if I click on the globe, we get to the normal default Apple keyboard. And if I cl click the globe again we got to the clips keyboard and as you can see here we have all the stuff we have saved in clips now as you can see so now let's say that i want to start with the title we click on the title like that here we have the title and then in the clips third party keyboard we click on return or enter and as you can see we can now paste something else and now i want the url to the video so let's click on the url as you can see there i click on enter return one more and then it's time for the text that we copied i click on that and as you can see here we have a perfectly fine post to share on, for example, Google Plus or 
Facebook or whatever you want. We have used clips to get all this content and now we can send it to any social network or blog or whatever you want. This is pretty nifty. I love clips. Let's check how uh, clips looks now with all the stored clips. We click on the icon, opens clips and here you have all your stored clips and as you can see you can also store images we have one here and we have one here so you can copy images and store that into clips too so for example i can paste this image into apple's keynote app for example when i do my thumbnails for my youtube videos or something so i can store different um, images into clips too but there is actually a smarter way to do this if you want to blog for example an article or uh, a post on the web so let's say that you want to blog about this article uh, you choose a quote you want to quote the text so for example if I want to use this text as a quote now you go up to the share menu the iOS share sheet. I have selected some text that I want to quote. I click on the share sheet icon and this menu opens and down here you will see that you have clips. If I click on that extension, the clips extension, this opens with the selected text that I have chosen and down here you can choose copy and add to clips if you want to add this to your clips uh, database or you can add to clips and without copying it to clipboard or you can just copy this but up here you can choose to format this in a markdown format that you can use for your blog so if i click on this button as you can see now it forms the title with an automated HTML link to the post and with the quoted text below so now if I choose to copy this I can quit the web browser and go into my preferred blogging app that is editorial so if I open my Markdown editorial text editor and choose to start a new file, as you can see here, it's an empty file. If I now paste this text, it's automatically formatted as Markdown and I do a preview of it. You can see here, it's perfectly fine. You have a link to the article, the title automatically, and the quoted text that you choose. So now you can just go down here and choose another keyboard, of course. So you can type, we can take Swift key. So down here now we can start blogging about this article. We can post whatever we want here and you can blog this and when you are done you can see a preview of what you have blogged and then choose copy html only html and now you have the html code for this blog post in the clipboard of your ios device so now you can paste it into your blogging app directly on the web or whatever you want with this HTML code. This is pretty nifty. It's so easy to blog with clips together with an excellent markdown text editor. This is brilliant. I hope you can see how brilliant clips really is and why this will change how I work on my iOS devices. This will revolutionize how I 
do blog posts, sharing on the web and so on, do my Google Plus posts, YouTube videos, everything. This will make it so much easier to use iOS devices to create content and be very productive with. I love clips. And if you pay for the in-app purchase of clips, you get uh, syncing between all your iOS devices too. So everything you uh, copy into clips gets synced to all your devices. That is pretty cool too. So I recommend buying the uh, app in in-app purchase. Okay, go check clips out. I will link to it below in the description text of this video. Okay, bye.